Welcome to Top Solid 7. In this quick little sample, uh, I'm going to show you how to do some basic little surfacing tricks uh, and play with maybe curvature, tangency, wind lofting between two surfaces. But before I do that, I kind of want to want to back up and show you how I built the surfaces that were in here. So I'm going to go to my history tree here and roll back maybe all the way to the beginning. Um, let's maybe show this sketch. Uh, you know what? Let's use our Entities Manager. Let's be different. We'll show this sketch this way. So that was the first sketch that I created, which is just a little spline. Okay, if we edit the spline, you can see it was just created on a plane. You um, have different ways of controlling your spline and whatnot. It's uh, lots of fun. Uh, from there, I created two offset planes and two more sketches. So I'm just going to kind of fast forward through there. The offset planes are not really important as much as the sketches are. Because what I want to show you here is we have a spline, then we have a contour. This contour if I edit it, is made up of lines and arcs, right? And then we have an arc, okay? So single segment, multi-segment, single segment. Complex curve, simple curves, uh, simple profile of curves, right? Um, now these are also under constrained a little bit, so this means that I have a little bit of freedom to play dynamically with these elements, okay? That said, I then created a lofted shape. And you can see there's the result of our loft. It's very, very pretty. Then I created another offset plane and another sketch of another spline and just extruded that. Okay? So now what I want to do is my goal is I want to loft between this surface and this surface. So let's see what we got to do. So I'll go to my shape icon bar and I'm going to go to loft. And here, I'm just going to go ahead and choose my profiles. And I'm going to start here and go to here. And notice first that I don't have to copy the edges first. I can just directly use the edges right off the model and that's pretty neat. But notice that we don't see any preview of a surface, and that's bad. Uh, if you don't see a preview, chances are inside of Top Solid 7, the surface isn't going to work. But this is an easy fix. If you notice, the uh, color of my arrow here is blue. That matches this blue. That's kind of hard to see. But the arrow here is facing the opposite direction of the arrow here. And the arrows always have to be facing the same direction. How do you change that? Real hard. Double click. Boom. Now the arrows are all flowing in the same direction. Now, if we look at this surface, you can see it's lofting from here to here, like directly. If we validate that, you can see that it's going to leave a really hard edge there and a really hard edge down here, and that's not at all really what we want to do, is it? Maybe we want to make that better. So let's go and edit this surface, and now let's ask the software to add a constraint. So I'm just going to right-click right on the edge and say I want to add a constraint there. And by default, you can see that constraint comes up as tangent. And we can even play with the tangency control. I can go here and say, you know what, I'd like this to be tangent, but very quickly with a small magnitude. And you can see if I zoom way up, the tangency is very abrupt. Or I can give it a bigger value. Let's try two. And we balloon out the tangency, and you can see how the resulting surface is affected. So you have a lot of good control there. Let's set this back to one. But maybe we don't want just tangency. Maybe we want curvature uh, control. So let's go to curvature. And like that, now we are following exact curvature of this surface down to this surface. Maybe we want to do the same thing down here, so I'll right-click there and add a constraint. And this one will make curvature control as well. And like that, we have a perfectly blended surface. So, pretty neat, pretty fast. Um, you might have some little wrinkling here, but that's because of what we're telling it to do. So maybe we want to simplify this a little bit, so I'll double-click here. Maybe I'll just drag this down a little bit. You can see that dynamically, pardon me, it's updating the surface. Maybe we want to take this, smooth that out a little bit that way. Maybe we want to see if we can drag this a little bit smaller. And hopefully you're seeing that you can just play around with the look and feel of your shape all you want. You can do the same thing down here with this spline if you want. Beautiful. So this is just a sneak little peek of some basic surfacing tools within Top Solid 7. Hope you enjoyed it.